Alhamdulillah, Amin al-Shaytan al-Rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Brothers, sisters, elders and youngsters and friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome to the very first edition of the series, Nasheed Unplugged. Inshallah, in this series, you will not just be listening to Nasheeds uh, from live artists, but you will also be getting to understand the, the deeper picture, the deeper the person who, who, is, who is reciting the nasheed probably every single day on your TV screens, on your radio, on your tape. But inshallah, inshallah, today you will get to, uh, and not just from today, to onwards, inshallah, you will start to understand where this, uh, this artist has come from, his inspiration, what led him, what got him to where he is today. And today's very special guest, I'm going to tell you in a very short while, I'm not just going to tell you yet, but inshallah, stay tuned for that. Uh, first of all, just to let you know, Every Saturday, inshallah, you can catch us here. Uh, Nasheed Unplugged. Inshallah, I'm your host, Usman Rahman. And inshallah, here, like I said, we've got new artists. We've got a list of artists coming. We've got Hamza Robertson, Muhammad Yahya, Mecca to Medina. The list, alhamdulillah, goes on. However, today's guest, I would like to, first of all, thank him from the bottom of my heart for coming, for making this trip here today. I don't want to just go to him just yet. I'd like you to check him out on the video, inshallah.
Kamal Udin. Brother Kamal, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. How are you doing, Mr. Alhamdulillah, bro. It's great to have you on. It's great. And first of all, just for the, for the viewers as well, um, Kamal, Brother Kamal is a very, very busy man. Alhamdulillah, we really, really appreciate you know, the time that you have taken out to come here today. Uh, it's mashallah. A Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's the pleasure to all ask, please. Um, but we will, we'll, inshallah, because of time, we'll have to uh, move on with the questions as well. Um, just to start off, how long have you been reading the Sheeds now? Um, how long have I been reading the Sheeds? I would have to say um, probably 2005 I started. After I came back from Hajj, I went oh, to Hajj with my mother. I think when I came back, that's when I um, decided to start Nasheed. There is a long story behind it, but I think I'll keep the answer short if you, in terms of when I started. Who would you say are your uh, inspirations? As in, who, uh, you know, who, who have you been? Have you looked up to anyone? Uh, in terms of Nasheed? In terms of Nasheed. Um, I would have to say one of the first Nasheed, there wasn't many out there at the time. Were you, um, 2005, I think there were oh, only right, like yeah. three, four artists. And at the time, I, it was very like narrow. So I think it was Zayn Bika was one of the particular ones I used to listen to. Okay. Uh, Ahmed Bukhathid, and that was about it. Mashallah, <laughs> mashallah. Can you remember your very first performance? Oh, that's a tricky one. Very first performance would have to be. Uh, it was in Manchester. I remember it was a very huge Muslim Unity Convention. That was the name of the event. Mashallah, okay. And it was a Bridgewater Hall. It was a huge event. Two thousand people. I can remember. All media came around. It was the time where the Twin Towers uh, fell, and since then, Muslims have been getting a lot of bad right, media. Right. And then, yeah, it was around about that time. How did you feel? Were you scared at that point? I mean, I, I was very scared actually. To be honest, at the time, um, the people, the event was starting late, <laughs> Asian time usually. Yeah. It was supposed to start at a certain time. It started an hour or an hour and a half later. So standard. Bro. So people were sitting there. Nothing was starting on stage. So I, they just called me on and said to. Recite a sheet for everybody. So I remember that was the first time. Have you ever performed internationally? Um, internationally, not many. I've been to uh, Toronto, Canada. I've been there twice actually, and um, I'm going to be going in Norway, and end of this month. So okay. Looking forward to that. Mashallah. I heard it's really cold up there, but we'll see. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice. <laughs> all that. So have you ever? Uh, have you? I mean, have you ever been on tour with any other big acts, any other big nasheed artists? I've never been on tour. When you mean like. Like one day after another, no. How about just performances with the big artists or anyone else? Um, uh, in terms of the probably the biggest stage would have to be in London Excel. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest stages where I've performed. I think they had about twenty, thirty thousand people there. Mashallah. So yeah. that's a, that's so a big audience, is that? It was quite freaky, but yeah, alhamdulillah, <laughs> Allah was on my side. So do you, do you write your own material? Not as. Uh, most of it, I would say, yes. The English, because I'm not familiar with um, Urdu. I'm, I'm, I'm originally Bangladeshi, so I try to like cater for everyone. If that's yes, the no, right no, word. Yeah, I suppose. As well. And um, yeah, all the English lyrics actually I do myself. Some I've I've had help from other people as well. But yes, if that's answers right, your question. Next question is actually quite interesting question. I hear you have your own uh, Nasheed classes. Nasheed classes, yeah, yeah. Mashallah for uh, youngsters, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, that's gonna take me back a long. It's a long. How long have we got a long time? Oh, don't worry about it, brother. Don't worry about it, inshallah. <laughs> Nasheed class would actually. I remember I, because I originally my full time job. I know you didn't ask me that yet, but my full time job is the Imam at the High Jamia Mosque, and I'm also teaching there and um, teaching children there. And I noticed I actually caught some of the children singing the songs that they sing in their school. Okay. Such as Christmas songs, and I, this is actually a really big. It's a big deal for Muslims in having Muslim children singing Christmas songs. Of course, of course. Jingle bells. Yeah. Fatma smells. What is it? I don't know. Yeah, and oh, there was. Uh, I realized that I need to ma write nasheeds for them and make an alternative. That was when I started writing, and I realized that 